This lesson is Barton Book 4, Lesson 5. At the beginning of the lesson, the students will learn the happy rule, which is adding the extra consonant after the short vowel. And looking at the word happy, H-A-P-Y, is a great intro because they all know happy spelled with two Ps. And we will learn a new spelling rule. Look at your board. How many syllables does this word have? Two syllables. Awesome. Just by looking at it, Logan, how do you know it has two syllables? Because you can clap it out, like happy. Yes, the two, yes, there's two claps. And what else are there two of, Angel? Two of the yellow mm -hmm. one. What are, what's the name for those yellow tiles? Um, um, vowels. Yes. Now, how many letters are between the vowels? One. Yep, and which way would you move it first? So let's go ahead and separate it out. So put your fingers on both vowels, push them apart. Push those vowels apart. Okay, now we have that P in the middle. Where do we put the P? In the middle. It is in the middle, and are we gonna slide it forward or back? Forward. Back. Yep. back. Okay, let's put it to the end first. This is the first way, and then we will eventually put it that way. And how do we read that word? Happy. Wait. Happy. That first one is open. So if, if we have an open vowel, the A is a long vowel sound, so the A is going to say... A. Yeah, so how do you read that word right now? Hey, B. Is that, is that a word? No. No, but we want to make that a short vowel sound because we really know what this word's going to be. Don't say it yet. We really want this word to say happy, so that A needs to be short. Here's one way to make it short. Everyone pull down another P and close off that open vowel. Hmm. So it's going to be like that. Okay. How would we read the word now? Happy. Very good. Push it all together. Happy. So we've got to find a way to close off those syllables. Let's look at your new spelling card. Since I can't hear anything closing it off, we're going to double the next sound you can hear, and that's the P. So boys and girls, this is called your happy rule. Okay, short vowel, vowel sounds must be closed. If you can't hear anything closing it off, double the next sound you can hear. Let's go through some examples. We can go through them pretty quickly. I think, does everyone understand? Okay. You need to double that middle consonant. Okay, go to the next word. All right, and what do we need to do if that's following the happy rule? We need to double the F. Very good, show me, and then we'll read the word. Okay, and how would we read that word, boys and girls? Taffy. taffy. Wonderful. Has anyone ever eaten taffy? I thought it maybe maybe half and half, so I made a little vocabulary helper. A candy similar to toffee, made from sugar or molasses, boiled with butter, mmm, and pulled into a glossy candy. Okay, wonderful. Please go to the next word, and let's read that word together. Happen. Happen. Yeah, Logan, Happen. can you read that word for me, please? Happen. Awesome. Please go to the next word, boys and girls. Okay, this one needs to, we need to close off that first vowel. What, what are we going to do? We need to double the M. Perfect, show me. Comment. Comment. Okay, Angel, read that word for me, please. Comment. Say it one more time, nice and clear. Comment. Wonderful. Go to the next word, please. This is a name that you have heard many times. Eddie. Eddie. And what do we need to do to Eddie? We need to You know oh, it. It's, it's in the binder. It is. I'll show you. Here's it's the E. Here's Eddie. Let's tap him out while we have him ready. Do your two fingers on the table. Eddie. 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 Eh, eh, eh. And is he for the short or long vowel sound, Angel? That's for the long, no short, because when it's the long, it's a, like, it's a, no, it's, oh. it's not. You can do it. Take your time. You got this, Angel. 
So the long vowel sound, I'll let you just double check. The long vowel I sound would say... I. Okay, that's e. an I. E. And what does a short vowel sound say? E. Mm-hmm. As oh, in... So, and Eddie. Yes. So, in the short one is E, mm -hmm. and then the long one it is T, like E, like in T. You got it, it buddy. So to wrap this up before we do our next spelling roll, would someone like to tell us about our happy rule? Go ahead, Allie. You can use the card if you need to. Okay. Um, our happy rule is like when there's a short vowel. Um, it must be that is must be closed. If you can't hear anything, closing it off double the next sound you can hear. Very good. Please go to new teaching number two. Oh. oh. And what is that unit? What does that unit say? You all already read it. Let's read it one more time in unison. Oh. oh. Very good. Why does the all have two L's? Hmm. It's kind of like a floss rule. That's exactly the answer I was looking for. Do you agree? Okay, good. That's right. The floss rule only affects letters that are the end of a word, though. Okay, for example, tall, fall, mall. Please go to the next word, knowing that the L is not doubled if it's at the beginning or middle of a word, only at the end. You, can, you guys are like teaching this lesson. What do you want to say, Logan? You just say what you were thinking. What? I was thinking we'll one of the units right here. You need to double right. the, the L. Do we? No. Oh no, because the floss row is only like at the hmm. at the where? At the end of a word. Is the, is this L at the end of a word? No. no. No, and this is what exactly what I was gonna say. The A L in that word still says all. The word is salt. How come it doesn't have two L's? Because it's not what? It's a different type of all. Yes, and where is it in the word, Quentin? In the middle of the word. Very good. You guys are amazing. Correct, so that word is salt. When you see A-L in a word, it must say all, even in multisyllable words. Please go to the next word. Salty. 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 Yes. Oh. Do you want to say something? What were you thinking? Oh, no. no, it's okay. I want to hear what you guys have to say. You have some wonderful ideas today. Mm. Could we use the unit in salty? No. 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 We can't because it's because A L L it can only be used like at the end of the word. Very good. Go to the next word, please. Okay. Moving on, yes, that word is campus, referring to a school grounds. Let's look at this word. We have to, this is tricky though, because sometimes we're going to double the S at the end, and sometimes we won't. Okay. Isn't S one of the floss letters? Yes. So why aren't there two S's in campus? Because it's not going to make sense. It wouldn't make sense, right? If the word is going to be campus. And... We only use the floss rule if there's one vowel. And how many vowels are in this word, everybody? Two. Two. Good thinking. You only use the floss rule when you have one vowel. But there are a few multi-syllable words that have two S's at the end. They learn the campus confess rule and using rubber bands to stretch out each syllable and show them which syllable is accented. Go ahead and divide that second word into two syllables. Yeah, campus confess. Campus confess. Okay. In a multi-syllable word, usually one syllable lasts longer than the other. Let me show you, okay? Boys and girls, take a look at my rubber band. Okay. So I'm going to split up campus into two syllables. Watch the length of the rubber band. So we have campus. Which one would stretch longer? Campus. Campus. So that syllable was accented. Everybody say accented. Accented. Campus. So we do not double the S because cam is the accented syllable. If pus was, we would add another S. Let's look at confess. Ready? 
Confess. I can't even stretch it out enough. Confess. Which one is longer? Yes. So we double the S because it's accented. Okay? We're going to try a few examples. Now, boys and girls, just keep the rubber band in front of you until I tell you to use it. Campus Confess is actually one of the cards. It is. So let's look at the card before we chew, try any other. So flip your card over, please. Would you like to read it to us, Logan? Campus Confess, if last syllable lasts longer than, than double the S. Read it one more time nice and clear. Take your time. If the last syllable lasts, lasts the longest, double the S. Very good. Otherwise, one S. Okay, boys and girls, the other syllable is not accented, so we do not double the S. If it is accented, we double the S. Let's look at some other words. Please go to your next word. Okay, get your rubber band and your two thumbs. Please be safe about them, okay? You know what I mean. Now, let's stretch out on less together. So we have on less. Which one was longer, Quentin? Less. So what did we do? Um, we doubled an S. This next word is discuss. Say the word. Discuss. Let's get our rubber bands out. Please say each syllable. Dis. Discuss. Do it again. Discuss. Which one lasted longer? Discuss. Very good. Please spell the word discuss using campus confess. So do the first syllable. Do you want me to say it again, Angel? Discuss. Oh, discuss. Let's say each syllable. Discuss. Oh. Do it right. Good job. Good job. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Okay, let's look at the word. So we have dis. Now the second syllable is, look at me please. Cuss. Say it. Cuss. Mm-hmm. Say it slowly, Angel. Yeah, let's get your fingers out and say each sound. So we already have dis. Let's let's finger spell cuss. C. Just say the sound. C. 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 Cuss. Cuss. Let's say it slowly. Cuss. Say each sound. The, the letter. Let's think of the sound we're hearing in cuss. Uh, so which one says ah? Uh, which letter says ah? Uh, pull it down. So you have k, a, uh, we need cuss. Mm. So we don't need this now, so we're going to put that away. Okay, let me say the word again. Cuss. Say it out loud. Cuss. Say it slowly. Cuss. Add your ending to cuss. Mm-hmm. Where do you put it? Oh, that's the right sound. You're doing a great job, Angel. Okay, put it together. Okay. Now let's, now let's take a look at your card. If the last syllable lasts the longest, and let me stretch it out for you again. Discuss. Read me the word. Discuss. Yes. Exactly. So please go to the next word. Hmm. To bring up the letter X. What sound does the letter X make, everyone? 
Yeah, let's make our Spidey. I don't know if we've done this in a long time. Go ahead and make your Spidey. Like he's gonna, and then cross it. Say the sound. Very good. What two letters does that sound like? Knowing that EX is a prefix and it's always spelled EX, even if it sounds like X or eggs, that's great for them to know. If we have X in a word, how do we spell it, boys and girls? We don't spell it KS, do we? No. no. In the prefix, we use EX. Very good, so add E to the front of that. Every time you hear that sound, X, it's always spelled. E -X. Say it loud, please. E -X. Very good. Let's go to some words. Go to the next word, please. X Very good. Now, this is the tricky part. Let's tap the syllables. X tent. Now, do you hear that S in there? X. Do you hear that S sound? X. Yes. In the first syllable, but we never spell that sound with an S. It's always just EX. Why? That's a great question, Allie. It's one of our spelling rules. Do you want to look at the card? Yeah. Oh, so it says there is no E-X-S or E-G-S. And we'll get to the E-G-S in a minute. You never spell it E-X-S. Never. It's just E-X. So let's go to another word. Eggs. Exam. Oh. How do we? Is that how you spell exam? Like you're gonna no, take your final no, exam? No. How do you spell it, Quentin? E X. Yeah. So take off the G and the S, and add in your X. This is the second part of that spelling rule, and that and they use an egg. Logan, look up here. They use an egg. Don't spell it eggs. Like the eggs you're going to eat, you spell it E-X. And it sounds like that when there's a vowel right after it. It sounds like eggs if there's a vowel following it. And it sounds like X if there's a consonant. Let's look at some other examples. Go to the next word. Please read that word together. Expect. Very good. Expect. Notice we don't use an S. It's just E-X. Okay. Boys and girls, I want you to try to spell a word. Please clear your board. Please try to spell the word exact. Say it. Exact. Right, ma'am. Perfect. Okay, wonderful, boys and girls. Clear your board. Let's do some spelling. Ready? We're going to do a few together and a few individually. First word, classic. Say the word. Classic. I will give you a clue. This is following the happy rule. Please get out your happy roll card if you are not sure. Okay, you have classic. Make it say classic. Okay, so we have class. Oh. You're, you're missing one vowel, Allie. Let me tap it out for you. Class. Ick. Good, Angel. Perfect. Class. Ick, yes. Okay, now we have make sure. This is the Campus Confess. We're following the happy rule for classic. You had it right. I erased it for you because you already did it correctly the first time. Logan, change it back to the first we had. Yes. You know where it's going to be. What letter would you add right there? Here, just look at the, this rule. So remember happy? They had H-A-P-Y. And we added that other P. So what other letter are you going to add right now? Read me the word. Classic. Yes. We doubled the S because it was the letter after the short vowel. Erase. Boys and girls, following the happy rule again, please spell the word summit. Say it. Summit. That means the very top of a mountain. Let's tap out each syllable. S. A. Mm. Ooh, let's, that's every sound. Let's tap out the syllables. We have sum. It. Summit. Okay, this, let's start over. So we have, mm -hmm. let me say the first syllable for you, sum. Say it. Sum. Okay, sum. let me take, here, we're going to look at this very first syllable. 
So the word is sum, as in when you add. So say sum slowly. Sum. Let's finger spell it. Get your fingers out. Uh, uh, mm. What vowel do you hear in some? Mm -hmm. Good. Now we have just take off that. Let's start the second syllable over. Put those in the trash. Okay. It. I see. It. T I C. Mm, that's tick. Let me say it one more time. Maybe I'll say it slowly. It. I T. Yeah, spell it out. Good, so we have summit. Now let's look at our happy rule, boys and girls. Short vowels must be closed. If you can't hear anything closing it off, that short vowel, double the next sound you can hear. What are you going to double? The M. Mm hmm. Okay, push it all together. Read me that word, please. Sandwich. Very good. Boys and girls, let's spell also. Using your almost all. Yes. Check your spelling card. Oh, good job. Good job. Quentin, your word is sloppy. Say it. Sloppy. If something's messy, it's sloppy. Let me tap out the syllables for you. Slop. E. Sloppy. Please use the happy rule. Okay. Allie, your word is traffic. Say traffic. it. If you get stuck in traffic, your mom might get mad. Say the first syllable. Traff. Ick. Traff. Ick. This is also following the happy rule. Slop ing. Good. I like how you use that double P for the happy rule, but I want you to change it to the word sloppy. Here's a clue. We're gonna we're gonna use one of the long vowel sounds at the end for sloppy. Okay, Allie. So say traffic out loud. Traffic. Good. Let's say the first syllable by itself. Traff. Traff. Okay, so where, let's look at your first syllable. How would you spell traff? T-R-A-H-F. Okay, um, let me say it again. Traff. Traff. Let's say it slowly. Traff. Get your finger out. Tate. R. A. One sound, which is perfect. Now, Allie. It follows the happy rule. Good job. Good job. You can erase, Quentin. So think about that. I'll come back to you in a second. Which one are you? Oh, the ending was perfect. You're going to add something in. Read your happy rule card for a oh. second. Yes. Read me the word. Traffic. Yes, erase. The first time that I started using the bar in system was two years ago and I felt really strange about it because I did not quite get it what what it was and how it helped me with my reading but now that I have been practicing with it it helps me a lot like say words that I don't know spell out words and note new rules. Ellie I am so proud of you just thinking back how two years ago, three years ago, when I did your first DAR, and you didn't, I don't even think you knew your short A sound, and look at all the skills that you have gained since working together through Barton. So proud of you. Just hearing you speak clearly, and you're speaking in multiple sentences, you can write paragraphs, and your reading has improved so much. And I wanted to let you know that you have done wonderful on iReady Reading. I know you didn't show your year's growth, that's okay. But if we're looking from winter to spring, you've grown eight points. So that is almost, that is about a quarter of a year. So you've made gains. And a wonderful thing that you have done is you've maxed out your score on phonological awareness. So that means you've reached the highest score you can reach on phonological awareness, okay? Good job. You have shown many growth in your phonics from fall 
to winter, and that's the area that we are working on is your phonics, so that's amazing. How excited I was of using the barking system was because some of the words that when I read like articles I didn't get the um I didn't get to pronounce it right. So the barking system helped me to explain it so next time I read an article I'll be able to understand the words and the meanings. You grew a lot on iReady. I wanted to say that when we do Barton, we're mostly working on your phonics, and you maxed out of that skill. That means that you got the highest score you could. I wanted to also let you know that you grew 13 points on iReady reading, so 19 points of showing a year's growth, so you were very close to showing that year's growth. That's awesome. And I wanted to let you know that over the whole year on your iReady reading, you have grown 17 points. That's amazing. That is three quarters of a year, so 0.75 years growth, almost one year. That's awesome. You maxed out your phonological awareness and your phonics skills, what we're working on in Barton, grew immensely. All right, Quentin, I wanted to congratulate you on your awesome growth on your iReady rating. You grew 16 points for the whole year. That's awesome. Good job, buddy. So 19 points is one year. So you grow um, three quarters, a little bit, almost. One, almost one year, it was a little bit over three quarters of a year. Okay, nice job. I can tell you've put in a lot of hard work. I wanted to let you know that you have maxed out your phonological awareness scores every time you took the assessment. So fall, winter, and spring, you've got the highest score you could on phon phonological awareness. It's amazing. And I noticed a lot of growth in your phonics, and that's what we're working on in Barton, and so I can tell that's really paid off. Thinking back to the beginning of the year, starting in August, I looked at all the data, pulled the students, and decided on this group. We started working in Barton book three, and they did well, but it was a struggle, just with one syllable words, short vowels, and the lessons took a long time for us to get through. I know that I would plan the lessons, but I didn't add as many components into them. Now looking back on January, to where we are now. The students have been working in book four. Um, leading up to that point, they finished book three, passed the post-test, and we introduced the long vowel sounds. So I feel like since then, it has become very complex. Now my students are reading multi-syllabic words, and we're distinguishing when we have a short vowel, when we have a long vowel sound, and incorporating many new spelling rules. Just in this lesson that I taught today, I think there were four spelling cards that they had to introduce. So previously in book three, we would introduce one spelling rule, a lesson, which incorporated one a week. And now we're doing four a day. So I have noticed my students really gained all the knowledge that I've taught them. They put it into practice. And I'm noticing that I'm becoming more reflective and thinking about all of my students' needs. Like just pre-looking at the lesson, I would know exactly which words would be really good for Logan, because he needs more of a challenge. And I know that um, Allie and Angel still struggle with the EI, with their Spanish background, and giving them words to practice those vowels. Just thinking about each student individually, and I know that I'm able to plan a lot more, add in a lot of higher vocabulary for the students, and we've all grown so much.